morning, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Thank you very much for joining me again. So today is Friday and I'm on a little bit earlier than I was yesterday. It's just coming up to nine o'clock in the morning here and I've just got back from the school run and I wanted to pop on now and chat now because in a little bit I'm going to be heading out and I'm going Christmas shopping with my sister today which will be really nice. So in a moment I'm going to get my stuff together and head out to meet her at the station and we're going to get the train to a slightly larger town near us and yeah, do some Christmas shopping and have lunch and that sort of thing. So it should be a lot of fun. But I wanted to pop on first and share what I'm wearing and what else I've been up to and a couple of other bits before I head off. So yeah, I'll start off first of all with what Elf was up to in the night and um, he was a bit cheeky last night. Um, he managed to find an old packet of flour in the kitchen and um, yeah, <laughs> he got it out and went a bit crazy with it. I'll put up pictures so you can see. So as you can see, our kitchen floor got slightly covered and Elf made a little snow angel or flower elf um, in it. He seems to have roped in some polar bears as well. They were all watching. They'd brought some snowballs along. So it's a proper little snow scene. So <laughs> yeah, my children were quite surprised to find him in there. My daughter quite enjoyed then letting the polar bears have a really nice play in the flower. They buried one of them. It was almost like being on the beach <laughs> only with flower or snow. So yeah, um, now I've cleaned it all up. I managed to get it all cleaned up before we went to school. So the kitchen is now spick and span again after Elf's cheeky antics. But that was what he's up to this morning. My daughter on the way to school said she's expecting something even messier tomorrow. So I have no idea what that could be, but we shall see. So that is what Elf was up to. And then in terms of what I'm wearing today, well, it's really cold outside again today. It's definitely proper wintry weather now and because I'm going to be walking around the shops it'll probably be a bit cold out and about so I thought I'd put on a cosy jumper today and I thought I'd put on a Christmassy cosy jumper just because we're going Christmas shopping so it seemed nice to wear something bright and red and Christmassy and the pattern I use for this jumper is this one here it's a real classic the toaster sweater pattern by So House 7 so yeah, it's a sweater pattern. You can make two different versions. I've only ever made version one, but version two looks really nice too. I think it's got this um, split hem and this interesting neckline. But yeah, Toast Sweater One is the one I've made. It's got this lovely, cosy funnel neck, these oversized cuffs and an oversized hem band. It's got kind of a cropped um, look to it. And it sews up really nicely. It was one of the earlier sweater patterns I tried and I still love it now. And it's got a really good size range too. It goes to me double zero up to a size 34. So yeah, really good size range. And I've always made the smallest size. I've actually got the old pattern. So I make the size extra small, which is designed for bust 31, 32 inches, waist 23 and a half, 24 and a half inches, and hips 34, 35 inches. So my bust measurements, but slightly smaller on the waist and hips. But it's one I've never bothered grading out on, as, as is the case with quite a lot of my earlier makes. I didn't really grade between sizes when I started. But actually, it's absolutely fine. I think it's quite a straight fit down from the bust. So yeah, I haven't really needed to grade out. And I've actually lengthened my version a little bit, this one, to make it extra cosy so it comes down a bit longer. And even so, um, it's not feeling too snug on my hips. I'll stand up a bit so you can see. So there's still a little bit of room around my hips, so I didn't really need to grade out on it. And I made this version, this really lovely um, fleece back sweatshirting fabric. I don't know whether you can see on the screen, it's got these flecks to it. Oh, there I can hold up, you can see there. It is one of the Cozy Colours fleece back sweatshirting fabrics that they seem to be available in quite a few of the online fabric shops. I know Guthrie Garney had a really good range of them recently, so I'll link them down below. I'm not sure if this red colour is available. If I can find it, I'll link it. But it's really nice, um, fairly lightweight fleece back sweatshirting. It's not a super heavyweight one. So that's quite nice because it's not too thick and cosy. And I've made a few things in this fabric. I've also got the um, black and navy versions. and I've made a couple of other cosy garments in those too. And I always enjoy wearing these fabrics. But I do love this nice cosy red one. And here's the oversized cuff you can see. Um, yeah, it's just really nice and cosy, this one. Oh, and I'll put a picture up of me wearing it. I've just got on with a pair of jeans today because I thought that'd be quite practical just for walking around the shops. So that is what I'm wearing today. I also wanted to share, um, I mentioned in the video yesterday that my son was doing some sewing at Cubs yesterday evening and I thought you might like to see what he sewed um, and he was quite keen to share actually and I ended up going along and helping at the session which was fun. It was quite busy, there were a lot of Cubs there who needed help threading needles and tying knots but it was a lot of fun and they were making Christmas cards so it's really lovely to see them working on something festive there for their, I guess for their sewing badge because they get little badges they collect and you sew them down there. Um, sleeve so they love getting the badges 
So here is my son's um, Christmas card. So he cut out the Christmas tree and then sewed these buttons on with red thread to the front and then added some stickers and a little message inside. So there was a really creative um, there actually, lots of different snowmen, baubles, Christmas trees and all sorts. So he was really pleased with it. So that is what he was doing. It was nice to go along and help. Um, yeah, I must have threaded a lot of needles last night. <laughs> So that's um, one thing I wanted to share. The other thing I wanted to share was a little um, arrival yesterday afternoon that arrived after I'd finished my video. It's not the most exciting sewing thing ever, but it's this here. It is some um, bias binding that I ordered. It's just plain white bias binding and it is double fold bias binding. And what I ordered this for is I want to make some Christmas bunting. It's something I've been wanting to make for a while. I hadn't really made any bunting until this year. And then earlier this year, for my, my daughter's birthday, you might have remember back then, um, I made some bunting. She's not keen on balloons, so I thought it'd be nice to have something else to decorate the house for her. So I made this bunting for her earlier this year um, using an old duvet cover of hers. That's quite nice to turn it into something that we'll be able to enjoy every year. So I thought it'd be fun to make some Christmas bunting. And I have this fabric that I've had for absolutely ages that's been sitting in my fabric suitcase. It isn't a remnant. It's a whole uncut piece of fabric and I bought it a long time ago, I think maybe before I started sewing clothes even. And I think I was planning to maybe make it into some Christmas cushions, but it arrived and it felt a bit, I don't know whether it was a poly cotton rather than a cotton, but it didn't have the nicest feel to it. So I didn't think it would be right for cushion covers. So I ended up using some other fabric for those. And it's kind of just sat there and it's really Christmassy and I thought it seemed a real shame not to make it into something. So I thought it'd be perfect for bunting where the kind of feel of the fabric doesn't really matter as much. And it's perfectly thick enough to make into some decent bunting. So the other day when I had a quiet hour or so, I spent a while with my rotary cutter cutting out lots of um, triangles of bunting. So I've got them all here. And here's the fabric. It's quite cute. As you can see, it says Noel on it. It's got little hearts. It's red and white. So it's quite nice and Christmassy. So I've got all of these triangles cut out. And I had a little bit of the bias binding left over from the this bunting for my daughter but not quite enough so I thought well I'm always going to use bias binding so I ordered some more and I thought white will work well with the Christmas bunting and go with a lot of other things too so I've got um 10 yards of this bunting of the bias binding ready to pop onto this bunting so it's a little project um that when I've got a spare hour or so I'll maybe start sewing these triangles together and start putting the bunting together so we can pop it up later this month with one more decoration in our house for Christmas so yeah, that should be fun. Um, this fabric, I think, originally came from Minerva, but a very long time ago, so I doubt it's still in stock. But if I can find it, I'll link it down below. Um, it's quite cute, I think, and I think it should make really nice bunting. So hopefully I'll update you on my progress with sewing that later this month. But anyway, I better um, go now and get ready to go meet my sister. So I'll sign off now and hopefully take you with uh, me for a bit of the shopping trip. And then I'll pop back on again later when I'm back home. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. o'clock now in the evening so it's all dark outside here it's definitely getting quite cold as the day closes in and I'm back from my shopping trip with my sister we had a really nice day out we picked up a couple of presents for my mum went for lunch 
and I hope you enjoyed the footage I put in of me walking up to the station and then showing some of the Christmas decorations in town. I also managed to get a picture of myself next to the cutest biggest teddy bear in John Lewis. Apparently they're celebrating 99 years of John Lewis bears. They had loads of really big bears all around the store so I got a picture of myself next to the pink one. I'll pop that in in case you fancy seeing that too. That tickled me and my daughter liked seeing that picture too when she got home. So I've been up to school um, twice since I got back from the station from seeing my sister. I went up once to collect my daughter at the usual time and then I left my daughter at home with my husband. I went back up for my son shortly after because he had basketball club after school. Luckily, we don't live too far from the school, so it's not too long a walk to be doing back and forth. And it's up a hill, so it's good for yeah, exercise. <laughs> but we're all back home now. My son and daughter in the other room are having some dinner with my husband. He's just finished work. And so I thought now would be a good time to come in here and tell you about my day and share a couple of bits which I got when I was um, in town with my sister today. The first thing I got, which is not sewing related, but it's Christmassy and I was quite pleased to get it actually, is an advent candle. So here it is. I got it in John Lewis. It's got this cute little sort of Fair Isle Christmas design on it and all the um, days to count down until the 24th of December. And we used to have one of these every year when I was a child, but we haven't had one with my children, at least not for the last few years. Um, so I thought it might be quite fun for them to do the advent candle or help me with it and count down the days to Christmas on it, because it does remind me of my childhood and being quite excited seeing it burning down towards yeah, Christmas Day. So that is the first thing I got, so I'm looking forward to getting that started. Obviously, we're a couple of days into December already, so it's got a bit of a way to go to get us up to date. But I'm looking forward to doing that. That'd be nice. And then we also went to the John Lewis haberdashery department, which I haven't been to for absolutely ages. So that was nice. And I got there. Firstly, I got some um, snap fasteners here, which I'm going to use on the little doll's dress I'm knitting because I couldn't find any of those I think I'd use mine up so that was good to be able to get those for the little fastening at the back of the knitted doll's dress I'm making which I talked about in my yesterday's video. I also got some velcro because I realised I didn't have any velcro in my sewing supplies and I've got that earmarked for another project which I'll probably share another day, um, another Christmassy project actually so yeah just some good old velcro. And then the final thing I get, got which was a bit of an impulse purchase was some fabric and I am trying to use up my fabric sort of remnants and stash at the moment so I felt a bit guilty buying this but it was on special they had a special um money off on all of the Christmassy haberdashery and fabrics and I really really loved this um so I thought it was meant to be I should really get it so I got one and a half meters of this lovely quilting cotton in this really Christmassy print and I think it's really cute it's got this lovely red background it's a really rich red color and then some of the Christmas trees have little um Christmas hats on which I thought was so cute and lots of little wiggly lights on them too so I thought it was a really lovely Christmas print I don't know what I'm going to do with it um but I just couldn't resist it and I thought if I didn't buy it I regret it because I think it'll be make something lovely to have around the house for Christmas it's got little stars on the background too it's really nice quality as you'd expect from fabric from John Lewis so yeah, one and a half metres. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, um, but hopefully I'll come up with some nice Christmassy ideas. I love the idea of making it into Christmas cushions, but I've already got some Christmas cushion covers, so I probably don't need any more of those. But yeah, I'm sure I'll come up with some ideas. Or if you've got any ideas of what you think this might work really well as, then do let me know. But I just thought I don't often, yeah, get Christmassy fabrics. Really, I haven't bought any Christmassy fabrics for quite a while. So yeah, I just thought I'd treat myself to that one. And it was on special, which is always good. So those are my purchases um, in town that I wanted to share with you. So now I need to go off and make my husband and I some dinner. We're having an early dinner tonight because this evening we are going out and meeting some friends at local country park and the country park is putting on an illuminations display. I think they're running it from now up until Christmas. It's new this year so we thought it might be quite fun to go and check it out. They've got a little train ride involved that we'll be taking which should be really sweet. I know we've been there before at Halloween they always put on a really good show so I'm sure the Christmas lights will be really lovely so I need to go and have some dinner before we head out there and I'll take you along and try and get some videos of the different lights we see there. So all being well I'll do that and I'll see you again afterwards. I think it'll be getting a bit late then so I'll be loading this video a bit late as you'll find out when you actually see it arriving on YouTube. But yeah I'll be back on a bit later to um, finish the video so I'll see you again after hopefully some, some nice videos of the illumination. So see you a bit later. Bye!
we're back from the illuminations now it's about half past eight in the evening we had a really nice time there with our friends it was a lot of fun going around and seeing all the different lights i hope you enjoyed seeing the videos i popped in of the evening um yeah the children really loved it running around together there we are back home now um it's really cold outside so i've got our children snuggled up in bed my daughter is settling down to sleep my son's having a little bit of a read before he turns his light off so it's all quiet in the house now so i am planning on making myself a cup of tea maybe getting a little bit of chocolate and snuggling under a nice blanket and starting to edit this video so i can post it hopefully in a little bit this evening once i got it all pulled together so that is my plan now and then this weekend tomorrow we're going away to bournemouth for the weekend to visit my brother-in-law and his wife so that should be a lot of fun we've got a few different things planned down there that i'll bring you along to hopefully but because we're going to be away on saturday night and what i'm planning on doing is combining days three and four of vlogmas and posting one sort of weekend vlogmas video on sunday evening all being well so that is my plan so i won't be on tomorrow but i'll be back on sunday with saturday and sunday um all in one video so I'd love it if you would join me then also. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye now and go off and edit this video. Um, yeah, and it's really, really freezing outside. So I'm looking forward to getting really snuggly under a blanket while I do it. So thank you very much for joining me for another day of Vlogmas. Um, as ever, if you've enjoyed this video, be, please do give it a thumbs up. And I'll hopefully see you again on Sunday. So I hope you have a good couple of days until then. And um, yeah, so good night for now. Bye.